Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So you may or may not have been watching along with um, my series. Uh, we've been doing this um, uh, junk journal from an altered book using my Gypsy Rose um, kit. So you may have seen my awful video of um, uh, painting the cover. And when I say awful video, because it was kind of intended to be a kind of experiment, um, you know, kind of using um, uh, PVA and also kind of Mod Podge to do a kind of crackle effect, you know, crackle paint effect on the cover of the journal. It didn't really go to plan. Um, I had kind of mucked up the front of the journal by kind of doing the technique in the wrong way. Um, and then I did the back cover kind of on video with you guys. And then I proceeded to obviously drop the journal, thereby kind of scuffing the back of the painted journal. So, you know, it has not been very successful. However, <laughs> plowing on, because obviously, you know, I have been doing this journal as part of a series, so it wasn't like I could very well kind of then just leave it. So, you know, we're going to kind of go on regardless. So the front cover looks like this. Now, I did try and crackle it. I wasn't overly thrilled with the um, crackle effect. In some places, it has crackled slightly. Um, in other places, not particularly at all. Um, but, you know, that's fine. We're just going to kind of work with it. So I've got some sandpaper here. So I'm going to start by kind of literally distressing quite a bit around the cover, like so. We want it to look really yummy and vintage and, you know, awful. <laughs> yummy and vintage and awful, though I'm not sure that kind of goes together, but you know what I mean. We want it to look really kind of old and weathered and worn and, you know, really kind of decrepit so i'm going to kind of do a little bit on the spine kind of a bit of distress on there with the sandpaper and obviously on the back where we or where sorry i will not use the word we for this because totally totally my fault where i dropped the journal and then kind of ruined the back i'm just going to kind of sand it slightly smoother obviously i can't get rid of that completely but I can at least sand it down slightly. So, like that. And just around the edges. Now, I love the way that looks. I just, I love distressed furniture. I love, you know, I love anything distressed. So, to me, that looks lovely. Really, really, really nice. Now, as I said, on the one where I painted it, I had obviously kind of opened the book before this was thoroughly dry, so it also had picked up, let me check them in frame, um, you know, uh, uh, tore the paint off kind of thing down here in the crease. Again, that doesn't bother me. I'm going to distress it further so it kind of looks a bit more kind of in keeping. I love how that looks. Personally, I think that just looks awesome. Um, <laughs> hopefully you guys think the same. Or maybe I'm in the minority, I'm not sure. But I just think that looks really, really nice. So, you know, that's kind of, for me, looks great. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a couple of corners. So I've got my stays on here. And I'm just going to literally stamp a couple of corners with my corner stamp. Now, again, if you watch my channel a lot, you'll know that this one's my favourite corner stamp at the moment. I love it this stamp um i have got this stamp also that i really 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 love at the moment uh but i think i'm going to go with this corner one so i don't tend to use a block i just literally stamp it like this and then i would just stamp it down just roughly again it does not have to be perfect it doesn't have to be perfectly in the corners it you know it really is not a kind of big deal I'm going to stamp it up here, in this corner here, like that. Okay, I'm not going to stamp these two corners, I think, because I feel like that will be bringing it in. 
although now I say that I will just kind of I'm just going to place that there like that so I can kind of get an image or perhaps I will actually perhaps I will I'm obviously doing scatty videos um, at the moment this is the same day um, obviously I load them kind of at different times so as not to bombard you but this is actually the same day that I've done a couple of other videos so I'm quite videoed out if you see what I mean so um, <laughs> probably should have had a snack or something to refresh my energy levels or something but never mind we'll just kind of plow on and um, you know, bear with me so I have got a couple of images from the Gypsy Rose kit which I thought would look really cute just here on the cover and then I'm just going to leave the cover as is. I think it looks lovely how it is. I will put some lace somewhere. Um, although actually I might not, to be honest. Let's have a look. And as I just have a little strip, kind of under these little embellishment pieces. Mm. Yeah, maybe I will do it like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to distress all of my bits and pieces so let me just bring in my piece of paper here that I've been using to kind of distress things on just so that I don't kind of um, get it all over my my worktop saver not because I'm trying to save that and I say this every time just in case anyone's kind of new to my channel and thinks that I've absolutely lost the plot because it is filthy it's just I don't want it picking up the ink and then getting that on other projects. It's not about saving my workshop saver at all. So that's that. And then I'll check I'm in frame again. I'm going to distress the painted book. I think that just looks awesome. It's looking really yummy, really vintage, really, 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 really nice. I love it. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but I really, really love how this is looking. And I will just ink down the spine and then I will just ink the back like that. <clears throat> now I'm probably going to leave the back completely plain, um, but you know, it's nice to have it kind of inked up, I think. So that for me looks gorgeous and obviously you know that's not perfectly inked it's quite splodgy but I like that you know that to me looks as per a vintage book I mean here there's a kind of actual splodge here that to me looks great I you know I couldn't have done that on purpose if you see what I mean it literally went like that by accident and I couldn't have got that effect if I tried to just going to cut a piece of um, lace just to see whether I'd like it here or not. Now I've got this clock because I love these clock images and I've got this little rosebud here so I'm kind of thinking just something like that. Now just before I kind of commit to that I just want to kind of check in some of my little bits that I've got here to the side that I wouldn't prefer, oops, I just dropped some on the floor now, that I wouldn't prefer anything else because, I mean, obviously this is the Gypsy Rose Journal, so maybe a caravan should be on the front. So if I just ink up a caravan, so that also looks really yummy and old and, you know, really nice. We just check that we wouldn't prefer that on the front. I mean, that also does look really good, doesn't it? We can kind of have a postcard kind of taken out. We don't even need to have the postcard, to be fair. We could just have it kind of like that. Um, oh, I don't know now. I was really disciplined in the last video and kind of just cracked on without overthinking anything. And I think I'm just going to let myself down 100% today. I do often struggle on the covers. I've said this quite often. Um, you know, for me, I do find the covers are often a bit of a, uh, you know, a bit of a kind of struggle for me. But yeah, I'm I'm not wanting to kind of really bore people. So 
I'm going to use my Mod Podge and I'm going to just get gluing right now. So I'm going to glue the postcard down. And then I will pop the clock to the side. Oops. And again, I mean, if you watch my channel, you will be familiar with this. I am instantly covered in Mod Podge. I am already covered in glue, uh, in paint. And literally, no sooner do I have the, you know, the lid off the Mod Podge, I'm covered in it because. That's how I roll, I'm afraid. So I'm a very messy crafter. And <laughs> I wish I wasn't. I wish that I could be a very neat, neat crafter, but for some reason that's just not in my <laughs> it's not in my gift, I'm afraid, to be a tidy crafter. Right. So and then we've got obviously this little rosebud which we'll just ink up a little bit more. there and then we'll just run this piece of lace here I'm going to cut the kind of seam off the lace as I have done kind of everywhere really I think I've used this lace in this journal you can just kind of have the lace just like that I personally think that looks quite pretty with just that little piece of lace there I mean I don't know would other people kind of not bother with the lace I wonder People wouldn't I don't know I'm going to pop it down because I think it looks pretty so I've just used the tacky glue there and just pop that on like that and again it doesn't have to be straight I'm not kind of you know looking to make this perfect or anything I want it to look you know shabby chic I want it to just look um, you know, as if it's been there kind of for years, as if it's kind of just, that's how it's been sat on the shelf for years. You know, so it might have moved a little bit over time and things like that. So, and then we just pop the rose bod on just there to the side. Personally, I think that looks really pretty. Just going to kind of glue that like that. Okay, I really like that. I think it looks gorgeous and, you know, to me, I don't think that needs anything else. Um, having said that, I will just double check just in case because, you know, enough is never enough when it comes to kind of embellishing, but I will just have a little bit of a play. Just check. We could have something like that. No, I'm probably going to leave that for today, um, you know, and kind of, obviously if I think when I come back to it next time that it needs anything, then maybe I will add something then, because sometimes kind of when you go away, you kind of come back and then go, oh, why did I do that? You know, that looks a bit plain or that looks a bit overdone. So, um, yeah, I might just leave it plain. I do quite like that ticket there, um, which is quite nice because then you could write a title for the journal. So. I am going to add the ticket. You see, I couldn't just quite leave it. So I'm just going to mod podge that and just pop that down there like that. Okay, I'm just going to press that together, make sure it's stuck. Okay. So I love how that looks. Now I will probably go over the whole lot now with some Mod Podge to make sure it's kind of properly sealed and everything. Um, but I love how that looks. And the journal itself is now really coming together. We literally have got barely any pages left to do. I still haven't glued these bits in as you can see. So I must do those. Um, but yeah, there really are not many pages left to do. So 
what we could do is just quickly while we're here, so it's not a really kind of short, you know, very pointless kind of feeling video, is just literally, as we did on those first few pages at the front, we just glued on one or two little things on these kind of pages where they're not stuck together. This one actually is stuck together. Um, but they're generally not stuck together. They're kind of thin pages, just really kind of in there for journaling. Um, so I will kind of ink around them. Like that. And then we'll just literally kind of glue little decorative pieces on just to kind of, um, you know, make the pages look pretty, really. But predominantly, we are leaving them plain, you know, for journaling space. Um, you know, that's kind of how I quite like doing altered books in the when you get to the back and the pages are kind of plainer. I quite like leaving them really undecorated so that you've got then maximum journaling space on the actual pages themselves. And obviously you can see the text through, but, you know, I don't feel it's showing through kind of, you know, um, in a problematic way. I think you could easily journal over any text that's on there, if that makes sense. So we're nearly done. Got a couple more left to do. And again, I mean, I'm just inking these very, very quickly. Kind of, you know, no kind of um, particular method to it or anything. It's just literally get the ink on the page and, you know, make the pages look kind of vintage and old. So they're tying in with the rest of the journal. Oops. There we go. <clears throat> and then um, once we've kind of nearly done this, so nearly, nearly done, we will then just literally glue on one or two little things just to decorate the pages, <clears throat> Oops, to finish off the journal, you know, um, not finish it off, sorry, because we have got a few more pages to do. I don't mean finish it off. I mean um, finish off those pages. So, so although they're blank for journaling, they're not completely plain. If that makes sense. So I'm going to just pop a couple of things to the side. And then we'll just get decorating. So on this one, I've just got this little circular piece. I think that's super cute. I might just actually use Mod Podge as I've got that here and open. I'm just going to literally Mod Podge that to the page just down here in the corner. Like that. Press that in, making sure it's kind of nicely stuck down. Like that. And then what we could do <coughs> is add a little bit of lace also to that. Take a little piece of the crochet. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's getting a little bit dry. Um, and we'll just pop that down like that. So we've got that one. Then on the back of that page, we could just have a rosebud here. Again, I might just use the Mod Podge as it is here. Now these ones have been printed onto coffee dye paper, so they don't overly need um distressing you know they're quite dark um anyway so that that's quite handy then on the corner of this one so this has also been printed onto some coffee dyed cardstock i will just ink it up slightly we could pop that ticket up here just for something a little bit different and again we'll just mod podge that onto the page 
And I mean, these pages, obviously, they're not kind of decorated pages as such. They're just blank pages. I'm just putting on literally one or two things, just so they look a little bit more interesting than being completely plain pages as they would otherwise. So on there, now do we like that down there or would we prefer something else? Let me just have a look. I'm just going through my little bits that I've got here cut out to the side. Could just have a gypsy caravan actually. And then I've got a kind of yellowish um, flower here as well. So if I just ink the items up. What we could do, we could have that little flower there and then the gypsy caravan we could have down here. I think that looks really nice. So we're just literally, again I'll just use the Mod Podge because I've got it open and here, very often it's not actually up here with me or down here with me when I'm doing the video. So, um, I will make the most of it whilst it is. So it's quite nice using the Mod Podge. Um, you know, Mod Podge is brilliant stuff, isn't it? And then we'll just stick this flower here over on the other side. Like that. And then again here, just pop a piece of lace down in the corner. It's quite nice. Like that. Just got a couple more pages left to decorate, just in this kind of very fast, you know, very, um, you know, very quick way. So, you know, we're not kind of decorating them as such. We are just literally making them so they're not quite so boring to look at. And I'm sure I had a green one. So I might have this green flower, this green rosebud on this page. I'll just pop that down there. Oops, I forgot to use the Mod Podge that time. Totally forgot that I had it here, look. Okay. that it matters either way which we use it really doesn't matter now I'm sure I saw a pocket watch that I had pre-cut out just now but I can't seem to see it now um, just let me look through no I can't spot it and I don't want to kind of really waste people's time by kind of hunting around for things so I just want to kind of crack on and do things quite quickly so this one, I love this. It's a small version of that, um, obviously bigger one that we've already got on another page, but I just think it looks really nice. So I think we'll have her up there. And again, we will just Mod Podge her on. Like that. And then facing her, quite good to have a kind of more goldy looking piece. So, let's have a look. I'm just kind of using things that I've got ready cut out because I don't want to kind of take up people's time by having to now cut things out. And obviously, I've said this so many times on this um, series, but I start out these videos and I'm quite organised and everything's kind of in little packets and pockets. And then within literally five seconds of doing the video, everything's everywhere because I've obviously poured it all out, you know, kind of with the, um, you know, deciding where to have things and what have you. So I do not start out really, really messy, but it very quickly gets very messy so um yeah I don't want to kind of go rummaging through everything for too long because obviously 
I'm trying to keep these videos to to 45 minutes now. I have extended them from 20, uh, from 30 minutes. So, uh, you know, but I'm trying to kind of get on with the journal kind of without wasting people's time kind of too much. So um, I don't want to have to kind of be looking for things endlessly. So I just have a bit of blue lace here. I love having these little bits and pieces. Um, now, obviously, I'm going to be uploading this video on a different day, you know, so I'm not bombarding you. So I will space them out a little bit. But, you know, this is the same day that I actually launched my beautiful birds kit. So, um, again, I mean, if you watch my channel kind of regularly, you may or may not have seen that. But it's another digital kit and um, I made a journal with it. <laughs> And I think there was something like 211 pieces to that kit, um, you know, elements to cut out and kind of use. I love having all of those pieces kind of to use, um, you know, kind of as you, as you wish kind of thing. Because to me, it's just like having an abundance of, you know, the, um, well, the Kayser Craft or the Tim Holtz die cut pieces that you can buy in the like ephemera packs. I love all those um, and I think you generally get kind of maybe about 50 pieces or something in those packs don't you um, and then I obviously find myself not wanting to use them because I don't want to kind of part with them so to be able to just print out time and time again as many pieces as I like I absolutely just love um, so yeah for me I think um, you know having all these Millions of pieces. Oh, I just love it. So, uh, I don't know whether you guys kind of share my excitement quite so much, but I just really do like having them all kind of ready cut out, ready to use. Oh, that was that pocket watch that I was looking for just now. Not sure about it on the um, green page, actually. Maybe it would have looked better on a kind of ivory page, but I think I've got one now. No, we've use the ivory pages right so again I'm not overthinking this I'm just going with my kind of gut instinct so I'm going to have a little rose here oh again I forgot the Mod Podge yeah I love having all those little bits and pieces so um you know and if you don't use them all in one journal I mean actually all the better because you've got them then cut out ready that you can just grab them and put them in a different journal. You know, and I mean, I'm not just, you know, plugging my own things. I mean any of the digital kits that anybody makes. You know, I'm not just meaning mine, of course. I mean any of the digital pieces, you know. It's just so nice to be able to just print off and print off and use and use things, you know, rather than kind of buy them and, um, you know, then not want to use them because... I mean, maybe not everybody has that issue going on, but certainly I do. I'm just going to put a piece of lace down this one without a little piece. Um, yeah, I find myself then not wanting to use them because they're going to be all gone. So, you know, the irony, obviously we buy them to use them. Um, but yeah, for some reason then I stop using them kind of, you know, once my supplies are getting low and I then don't want to use them. So to be able to just literally replenish my stock by printing out more is amazing. Um, and I'm absolutely loving having such an abundance of things to hand to be able to just use and use. So yeah, really, um, really fun. this piece and then I'm just going to stick literally a little piece of blue lace down the bottom there again I would just stick it straight onto the lace like that okay. like that now let me check what the time is where I'm up to okay 30 minutes 
So, just check that that's actually sticking. Okay. So that's all those kind of blank pages kind of done. So we've obviously got the inside of the back um, cover left to do and then we've just got one or two more pages in the journal and then we'll be complete. We have got another couple of pages here that are kind of, um, you know, blanks. So we could just quickly do those now because I feel there's not really time to do a kind of whole spread, but you know, we could kind of do these little kind of single pages, if you know what I mean. So we we'll just literally ink them up a little bit. And we'll just ink the back of this as well, just because obviously once it gets a bit lumpy, it will be harder to ink it up. Which actually, I've just thinking because this um is not really a double page spread because this is obviously um it's a thick page you know a pocket page that then is facing a thin page if you see what I mean and I've already got this gorgeous um uh cluster already made so I'm going to just pop that literally on there like that so I'm just going to glue it round like that just going to glue it like that down there. Again, I'll just dab that with some tissue just to make sure it's kind of not got glue seeping out all over it. And then I'll ink up this ticket. Yes, I do apologise to anybody who might have watched my atrocious video of painting the cover because I had intended on doing it as a kind of experiment using the crackle effect and things. And now, I should have really practised that off of video before doing it, but, you know, sometimes I just think, oh, let's just get on with it, you know, it, it will probably be fine. And I'm sure most people, probably it is fine. I'm sure that I was doing something wrong. Um, you know, and no doubt lots of people will comment and, um, you know, gratefully, you know, I would gratefully kind of appreciate that, telling me kind of <laughs> what I was doing wrong. Um, you know, that would be fantastic. Uh, but I do apologise because I was hoping to obviously kind of, you know, share a kind of learning experience with everybody. And actually, it was kind of a disaster. And um, yeah, I'm sure probably most people would have preferred not to have watched it because I'm sure you probably learnt nothing. But I do sometimes find that, um, you know, kind of I'll watch a YouTube video and it all looks fantastic and really easy. And then I come to do it and it doesn't quite work. So, you know, I guess on the plus side, it's quite nice to actually sometimes see the fail, you know, the fails, isn't it? Because otherwise sometimes I'm left kind of wondering what I've done wrong. You know, why somebody else can kind of get it to work and I couldn't. So I guess from that point of view, it's kind of nice sometimes to see, ah, uh, it doesn't work for everybody, you know, ah, oh, that's what happened to me kind of thing, you know, if if something didn't work for you. Because sometimes I do watch things and then I'm like, oh, fantastic, I'll try that. And then I try it and it's like, mm, it's not worked that way for me. So, you know, I, although feel embarrassed, probably that, you know, it was disastrous. Um, hopefully kind of some people did still manage to get something from it, you know, is kind of the feelings I have. So... Hopefully you kind of share those sentiments and you did manage to get something from it other than just, you know, <laughs> a big laugh when I then proceeded to drop the journal and kind of smudge the whole back and, you know, the back of the journal and things. Yeah, so, uh, but I do apologise because honestly that's just really embarrassing and I really just should have, um, you know, practised that first, you know, but... 
never mind. I mean, I mean, I would say I'll oh, live and learn, and I won't kind of make that mistake again. But to be honest, I probably will, um, <laughs> because you know, sometimes that's kind of how it is, isn't it? That you kind of, you know, still do things even though you kind of know in your heart of heart that you shouldn't really, and kind of that you should practice things off screen. Um, you know, but sometimes I'm just kind of keen to do stuff. And, you know, I kind of think, oh, I haven't really got time to do a trial run and the video and kind of the actual real project that I'm doing. So I'll just tie all three things into one. And then obviously you kind of wish that you hadn't. But, well, hopefully it kind of wasn't too awful for people watching. You know. Uh, I will mod podge this on actually. Yeah, so anyway, I do apologise if you did watch it and you did think, my gosh, what is this lunatic doing now? She's just scatty <laughs> all over the place. It's not even worked, you know. Never mind. But yeah, any tips, you know, if you kind of have used that method with the Mod Podge or the PVA and got the crackling effect, you know, working fantastically, I would love to hear your tips because, um, you know, <laughs> I would like to have it working. It would be great. It would be awesome. So, yeah, any kind of tips or, you know, what kind of pointers where I was going wrong, always gratefully received. You know, I love the fact we've got this sharing resource here on YouTube. Um, you know, it's fantastic to be able to kind of share knowledge and things as we kind of all do. Because, um, you know, what a kind of valuable resource. I mean, years ago, you wouldn't have been able to kind of be in contact with people kind of the other side of the world with a similar hobby to yours. Um, you just wouldn't. And so this is amazing. You know, I just think kids are so lucky today that they have this, well, you know, they've never known it any different. And that's just unbelievable that they've kind of grown up with that um, kind of every time that you want to know something, you can instantly get the answer. I mean, when we were children, we kind of had to wait until you could go to the library or go to the news agents or, you know, maybe watch sort of a documentary or a program or a film or something like that to get the answer to things. Um, you know, now, if you want to know the answer literally to literally anything, you just type it into Google. And that's, I find absolutely incredible, you know. Um, I know the internet has obviously been around for some time now and I should have really kind of recovered from the, the shock of it by now but I still find it absolutely amazing so uh, <laughs> and I'm sure that I'm not alone there you know I'm sure loads of people must share my kind of feelings about how incredible it really is so uh, yeah Right. Or, of course, you could tune into YouTube and, you know, see someone doing something completely silly and getting it completely wrong, <laughs> as you might have done with my with my experiment with the crackle effect. But never mind. Right. So here I'm just going to literally glue this little rosebud on and then I think probably that's it for this episode. So we really have cracked on now with this journal and we really have not got very much left to do. So I would think we will be done in the next episode or two. So, yeah, hopefully, um, you know, you're all kind of really loving it as much as I am. So we've got this one. Actually, no, we're going to be a few episodes yet because we have got two double pages there, the back cover... Another page here, double page here, got to glue these down, and then double page here, and 
we're nearly done here in these front pages so you know they're just literally those kind of very quick stick things down and then we've got the inside of the front cover here so we really are nearly done and um yeah i love this journal i just think it's really gorgeous i love how the cover looks um despite the <laughs> the dropping it and um you know kind of all the unplanned mishaps i really really love it so i hope that you all kind of share my sentiments and you know are really enjoying the series and uh yeah so thanks very much for tuning in and i will see you again next time thanks very much bye